have things to say that people need to hear. And I bet God put desires in your heart that you want to see fulfilled, right? Well, I got a question for you. What are you doing sitting around in your proverbial boat in the safety of harbor with a beverage in hand waiting for the world to go by? A word from God that a bunch of you need to hear. All that coming up today. Hey, 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 what is going on, everyone? Welcome back for another video. My name is Jason Bonickson, if this is your first time here, and I'm a Christian and a former pastor in the traditional sense, and now I'm kind of a YouTube pastor, and I'm on a mission to help you see yourself as valued, as worthy, and as wanted, even when other people won't see you that way. And if that sounds good to you, then I want to encourage you, start right now by subscribing to the channel, ringing the little notification bell, and that way when I post brand new content, you'll already be notified. So about that word that God has for you, let's hear it. So the other day, I get this text message from a good buddy of mine by the name of Craig. I'll put a link to his channel in the description section below. He's doing some cool stuff that a bunch of you might actually be interested in. Anyway, the message essentially states, hey, sailboat racing, Wednesday night, Lake Erie, do you want to go? And I'm like, absolutely, dude, I want to go. Count me in, 100% bro date, I will be there. I don't even ask the wife for permission to go. I just tell her I'm going, and she's like, okay. And I'm like, okay. Anyway, I meet up with my buddy Craig on Wednesday night at the marina, and we walk over to the pier. He introduces me to his friends, his shipmates. We board the sailboat, and in time, we cast off lines, head down the channel and onto Lake Erie, where we get ready to go sailboat racing. And for two hours, y'all, we go sailboat racing, and the wind is in the face, and the hat is blowing off, and water is just spraying onto the face, and my legs were getting soaked and my feet were completely drenched. My shoes are still soaked over there. They've been drying for quite some time and they're not dry yet. Total blast, totally exhilarating. Not what I was expecting. So much more. You ever get the chance to go sailboat racing, take the opportunity and go. You won't regret it and you only live life once, right? Well, at the end of the night, we finish the race and we're coming into the marina. Slowly, peacefully, beautiful, gorgeous evening. And God puts this message on my heart. And it's meant for you. It's meant for all of us. So I'm going to ask you a question. Are you living in the safety of the harbor? Or are you into the race of life? Here's what I mean by that. And oh, by the way, if you're liking what you're hearing already, give it a like. If you're being challenged already, give it a like. Here we go. So you think about a sailboat. A sailboat can be one of a few places. Any kind of boat. It can be dry dock, right? Completely out of the water, which is not where a boat is meant to be unless it's going through major retrofit and, and maintenance, but that happens. It could be tied up to the pier, where it's just sitting and just sitting, where you can go sit and party on the boat, kick back and have a beverage or two, or it's meant to be out on the water. It's meant to be out doing that thing. The same is true for you, it's true for me. It was true for Jesus and it was true for the apostles too. Well, let me elaborate. Think about Jesus. I mean, he's God incarnate. He's the word of life that spoke the universe into being, Genesis chapter 1. But the breath of the Creator fluttered against the face of the void, whispering, Let there be light. And light was. And it was good. The Gospel of John, chapter 1. 1 John 1. He is the word of life. He is the light of life that came into the world to bring salvation to all humankind. But he didn't do that just by sitting around in his living room. I mean, think about it. Do you think Jesus just sat in the comfort of his living room and said, okay, God, here's my word. I'm just going to speak it. And Father just carried off like butterflies into the whole world. Uh-uh. No. He strapped down his sandals, walked out the front door, gathered his disciples, and went from town to town to town to town. And occasionally told Peter, hey, Peter, let's go down to the pier. Let's hop in the sailboat, cast off lines, hoist the sails, and go from this side of the lake to the other side of the lake. I mean, he could have walked all the way around. It was easier and more efficient for him to hop in the sailboat when he wanted to go to the other side of the Sea of Galilee and sail over there. But if you think about what Jesus did, he had a message that God gave him and a mission that he was called to carry out. And he did that. And he didn't do that by sitting in the comfort of his living room on Facebook and watching the boob tube all the time, just hoping that his message would get out there. No, he took the message out to the people. You think about the Apostle Paul. I mean, here is a guy that hated the very first Christians, killed them. And then God gave him an amazing transformation. And he was so impressed with the 
mission that God had given him. He was so burdened by the word that he wanted to get out there that he didn't stay in the comfort of his home. <laughs> no, I mean, he didn't just write letters. Dear the known world, there was this guy by the name of Jesus. No, he strapped on his sandals. He left the comfort of his house. And he went from town to town to town, from city to city, from state to state, country to country. By foot, by sailboat, by ship, whatever means necessary to get that word out. He got into the race of life. He even talks about that. He didn't do that by staying in the safety of his harbor. And what about you? Are you comfortable in the safety of your harbor? Or are you willing to get in the race? So then once you say to God, God, I am, I'm willing and ready to be in that race, I mean, you've got to cast off lines and you've actually got to get out there to that starting line. And you've got to shut off that engine the way you're powering your own life. And you've got to hoist your sails and say, okay, God, you power me. God, you push me. God, you guide me by the power of your Holy Spirit. His pneuma is wind. And you let God propel you and push you to where you want to go. Now, you still got to be a part of that journey, right? You got to steer. You got to check your gauges and your compasses and, 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 and discern the places that where God wants you to go and the, the word that you need to put out there. You've got to be a part of that journey. And I'm telling you, it's a ride. You've got to hang on for life. There's times when it feels like you're going to fall off and you're hanging on for dear life, but that's part of the fun, right? You can't do that if you're just sitting around in the comfort of your house. No, if you're a Christian, Jesus said to you, go into all the world and to make disciples. He didn't say sit in the comfort of your entire living room and just put it on Facebook and hope that they'll hear the message. No, he said, go, 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 go into the whole, into the whole world and to share the good news. That means you have a message that God put on your heart and on your lips and you need to get out there and say it. It could be a business opportunity. It could be the word of God. It could be any number of things, but whatever it is, you've got to get into that race. You've got to be saying, okay, God, I'm willing. My sails are hoisted. God, take me to that first buoy. Take me to that second buoy. Take me to that third buoy. And hopefully when the race is done, God says to you, well done, good and faithful servant, as he brings you back safely into the harbor in the comfort of his arms. If you're not willing to get out of the safety of the living room, then why would God bring that thing to you? I mean, I'm just being real. If there's something that you know you need to do, then cast off the lines. Get out onto the lake. Turn off your own power and hoist your sail and say, God, here I am, power me. Because if you don't do that, he's not going to do that for you. You've got to do that on your own. So where are you at today? Number one in the harbor or two, are you in the race? Let me know down below. If I've challenged you today, if I've kind of taken you out of your comfort zone, if, if you know darn well that this word has been for you, give it a like. Let me know that this is the kind of content that you want to hear. If you haven't already, I want to encourage you right now, smash the subscribe button, ring that little notification bell, and that way when I post more content just like this, you'll already be ready to go and ready to hear it. Until I get to chat with you again, I pray that you're doing well. I pray that you are well, but I pray that you're getting out of the harbor and getting into the race of life. Until I get to see you on that race of life, bye for now.